Hi guys, welcome back. This is Coach Chris along with Coach Tim. So last week we went over the snap down, learning how to absorb force properly, as well as produce force properly in correct positions, whether it's for jumping or change of direction. So today we're going to apply it to the box jump. So Tim, you're going to be right in front of the box. And from here you're going to give me a good snap down, jump right to the box, land in a good athletic position. And go. Good, relax. So from there, he's in a good athletic position, eyes are dead ahead. So now sink down into a bad position we usually see on people on day one. A little more, a little more. Good. So right here, he's too far down, a lot of stress into his knees, so much onto his toes. Heels are not even on the box anymore. He's not sinking and absorbing with his hips. Now go all the way down into an even worse position. So this is what we normally see with people trying to jump to a box a lot higher than it should be because now he's putting a lot of stress through his lower back. We definitely do not want to have that at all, right Tim? Nope. You can step off of the box because I do not like that position. So when we jump, again, we're trying to produce force as much as we can through our knees, hips, and ankles as well as trying to absorb correctly. We don't need to be jumping to a huge tall box because again, it's all about how far our hips go on the jump, not how high you can bring your knees up to your chest and how high the box is. Again, we're trying to produce good athletes as well as athletes who can be able to sustain or prevent injuries on a long-term basis. This is Chris, along with Tim, and we'll see you guys next time.